Hey, good morning, guys. Um, I wanted to go over the wiring on the, the UFO controller. It's a bit different than a lot of controllers that are out today. It is a 608, and it doesn't have a power output. It has multiple outputs for strips. So I have a red and white wire here that'll you know, represent the red and white in your car, or sorry, the power and ground in your car. And where this is a bit different is, um, instead of running power straight to the box, you're going to want to run um, your power to um, like a distribution block. I have them here. I do have them on my site as well for, um, it's at glowleds.com. This is the controller that comes in kits like the UFO kit or anything that says advanced. This is the advanced box. Um, so you see, we just go ahead and attach our power to um, the distribution block and next, we will take a wire from the distribution block and go ahead and get that wire right here. Um, we're gonna tighten this wire down, make sure it is good. Okay, so now uh, the wire is tightened down. So now we're going to run this to the VCC port on the box. Um, go ahead and get that put in and nicely tightened. Okay, that's in there. And now we will run the ground to the box. Um, you know, this part is normal, just power and ground um, to the VCC and ground. Okay, now to like hook up a strip, what we would do is we would take a, um, just a, like a three pin in this situation, but you would likely be using wiring in reality, but um, what we're going to do is we are going to go to the box and we're going to give it data and ground. So well, first we've got to make sure that these are unscrewed. Okay, so those are unscrewed. So now we're going to data and ground. Go ahead and make sure that those are in. Okay, they are. Now I'm going to tighten each one. Now, for like the power wire that you'll need to take to the strip, making sure those are each good. Um, this will go back to the distribution block, or you can run an extension wire from your distribution block, um, you know, any number of ways. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one tightened down. And you'll notice that this also has a bus bar that is included with the distribution blocks I sell. That way they, they just all connect to each other and it makes it pretty easy to distribute power. It's just a metal clip there that connects all of them. Um, so now I have my power, data, and ground plugged in. So I'm going to grab a strip and I will make sure that it's in uh, the view here. And go ahead and plug that in and I'll bring the strip over. And now is the point where you should be getting ready to, um, you know, go ahead and reground your battery in your car. So then at this point, all we have left to do is go ahead and plug it in and bam, you'll see that's how you do it. Um, the pattern's a little bit long right now, so it's going off the end of the strip, but as you can see, it is working. So um, we just had to give it power differently from a distribution block. And my distro blocks online also come with this uh, pretty nice cover here. So, you know, once this is done, you can just snap this on and it kind of keeps the screws safe there. And you have your nice power distribution point. So you would just do this for um, basically every run of power that you were going to do. Um, but in the other cases, you would use the data and ground from the box and power here. Um, another side note, you don't have to use the ground from the box. Um, inside the box, the ground is just a distribution block. So as long as this has a common ground, you can ground this to your chassis and you can ground the strips to your chassis. That's a common ground and it returns to the box. That's fine, no problem. Um, data is the main one that will actually control your zones. Um, so that's the, the quick rundown on the, the UFO.